Hey guys, Brandon here with SlingMods.com, and today we have our Pedal Commander Throttle Response Controller for the Can-Am Spider. Now if you've been following our channel, then you know that we already launched the Pedal Commander Throttle Response Controller for both the Polaris Slingshot and the Can-Am Riker. And now we're happy to announce that we now have the Pedal Commander available for the Can-Am Spider. So when the opportunity presented itself to work side by side with Pedal Commander again, this time to integrate a Bluetooth enabled plug and play throttle response controller for the Can-Am Spider, we were extremely excited since the Pedal Commander we launched for the Can-Am Riker and Polaris Slingshot have become some of the most sought after and highest reviewed products that we sell. After installing one and taking it for a test drive for the very first time, the results literally blew my mind. This throttle response controller takes the fun of riding your spider to an exponentially funner level by giving you push plug control over how fast you want the throttle to respond to power. It really does bring the spider alive and makes it an absolute beast out of the corners with instantaneous throttle response when you want it the most. So what does it do exactly? Well, since the spider is a drive-by wire system, the signal from the throttle to the ECU is electronic. So the pedal commander simply intercepts that signal with a 100% plug and play harness and lets you adjust just how sensitive you want your throttle to be with the push of a button. Now normally while riding your spider speed you'll notice you have to twist your throttle all the way back to get the full power of the engine. Well now you can compress that throttle map and do the smallest amount of wrist action or anything in between letting you fine tune your throttle to deliver power when you want it and where you want it the most. Now I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Pedal Commander on our shop Spider F3 and RT to show you just how easy it is to install from home. And then after the install, I'll show you how to operate your new Pedal Commander. We've also put a timeline below just in case you'd like to skip ahead at any time. So start by pressing down on your key and turning it counterclockwise to open your frunk and pop off the service panel. Then remove your key and take off the top right hand side service panel so that you can remove these three push pins. Then take a T25 Torx and remove the four screws holding the side fairing on so that you can access and unplug the throttle harness and plug in your pedal commander, making sure to zip tie any excess cable up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. Next, turn the key ring counterclockwise to lift it up and off followed by the panel, making sure to unplug this connector on the side. Now you can run the pedal commander control unit up to the opening in the handlebars. Then plug that connector back in, reattach the panel, followed by the key ring. And then just reattach your panels in the reverse order you remove them. And now for those of you with 2014 to 2019 RT models, make sure your key is removed from the ignition and then simply pop off this side panel so that you can access and unplug the throttle control harness and plug in the pedal commander. Then pop off the top speaker grill and run the pedal commander control unit up and then over to the opening in your handlebars. Mm -hmm. 
and then just reattach your panels in the reverse order you remove them. Now for those of you with a 2020 and up RT model, press down on your key and turn it clockwise to lift up your seat. And then simply remove the key and unclip the side cover to access and unplug the throttle control harness and plug in your pedal commander. Then remove your top speaker grill so you can run your pedal commander control unit up and then over to the opening in your handlebars. And then just reattach your panels in the reverse order you remove them. Now we've also partnered up with Ramount to offer both F3 owners and 2020 plus RT owners an optional handlebar mounting bracket. The mounting bracket fits the pedal commander perfectly and allows the unit to sit close to the throttle where it should be. If you own a 2014 to 2019 RT, you will need to mount the pedal commander with the included Velcro strip since there isn't any round handlebar to mount to on those model years. So if you opted for the optional ram mount handlebar mount, insert the bar sleeve into the half with the ball already attached to it, and place it on top of your handlebars. Then take the other half of the sleeve and insert into the other half of the bar mount, and fit it up to the handlebars. Next, you can slide the screws in through the top mount with the ball. Place your fingers over the top of the screws and turn it 180 degrees so you can add the nuts to the other end of the screws. Now since the holes on the nut end are the same shape, all you'll need is a 4mm allen to tighten the bolts, making sure you tighten them evenly, and making sure you align it where you want it, before tightening it down the rest of the way. Next, you can add the clamp and mounting plate to the ball. Align it where you want it. And tighten it down so that it's nice and snug. Now take the included alcohol wipe and thoroughly clean the service area of the mounting plate. And the back side of the pedal commander. And let that sit for a minute to dry. Next, take the Velcro insert and peel off one side of the protective backing. Line it up so that it's centered on the mount. And then press down firmly to adhere it in place. Then you can peel off the other side of the protective backing. Line up the pedal commander unit so that it's centered with the mount and with the Velcro. Then press down firmly to adhere it in place. And then turn the handlebars end to end to make sure you have enough slack and to make sure you're not binding on anything. Now since 2014 to 2019 RT models don't have anywhere to mount a handlebar clamp to, you'll have to find a spot on the dash and clean the service area with an alcohol prep pad, then do the same for the pedal commander unit. And then once that's dry, remove the protective backing tape from one side of the velcro pad, line it up so that it's centered on the pedal commander unit, and then press down firmly to adhere into place. Then remove the protective backing tape from the other side of the Velcro pad. Line it up where you want it. And then press down firmly to adhere into place. And be sure to turn the handlebars end to end to make sure you have enough slack and to make sure the cable isn't binding on anything. So when you first turn on your ignition, the pedal commander is gonna load up in city mode. You can then scroll through the modes by pressing the star on the Pedal Commander logo, giving you four modes to choose from. Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus, illuminating the LEDs, letting you know which mode you're in. Now, you'll notice that Eco Mode does not illuminate while scrolling through the modes. Well, that's because Eco Mode was designed for those of you looking for a throttle delay and is only intended to maximize MPG 
and should only be used in highway applications. So to get to eco mode, you'll have to hold down the star button until the eco mode illuminates. But since the majority of people buying this unit are looking to enhance their throttle response, eco mode will most likely not be used. Once you find your desired mode, you have a plus and minus button down below, which allows you to adjust the throttle sensitivity in that mode with up to nine different sensitivity settings. You can decrease the throttle response in that mode with the minus button, and you'll notice the LEDs below illuminate red as you decrease the sensitivity. If you'd like to increase the throttle response in that mode, you'll click the plus button and notice the LEDs below illuminate green as you increase sensitivity. But if the nine settings in that riding mode do not fit your riding style, then you can just simply change modes until you find one that puts a smile on your face. The system also features a built-in memory setting so that when you turn the ignition back on for your next ride, the unit will load back up to your last mode and sensitivity level used. And then you can turn off the pedal commander at any time, restoring the factory throttle response by pressing the star button until the pedal commander turns off. Now for those of you that are tech geeks like us, the pedal commander comes with a free app that allows you to pair your smartphone to your pedal commander for complete control of your spider's throttle response right from your smartphone. It's actually pretty genius and allows you to control all the same features that the physical module does, making this a great solution for those of you that plan on riding in the rain, as you can just simply stash the pedal commander away and use your phone to control your throttle response. Now, if you're looking to completely eliminate that throttle lag, or you're just looking to restore that excitement between you and your spider, then be sure to head on over to SlingMods.com today and pick up a pedal commander for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date with everything spider. I'm Brandon signing out. Till next time.